is when you find synthetics, you find a very similar pattern throughout the whole stone. And this one, for instance, is mimicking a black opal, but black opal usually, usually has black potch on the back. And this piece has color and pattern all over the stone. And not to say that real opal doesn't produce that, but when you see it with exactly the same pattern and color and color play right through the whole piece, it is a bit of a red flag to say this could be synthetic. When this stuff is formed, it is formed with columns of color that stack neatly next to each other, which makes the elongated pattern. And you can easily tell these columns, but not always does this mean it's a synthetic opal. Just like in the rainbow serpent that I showed you a few months ago, that has columns in it and that was a natural opal. So it's not the case all the time, but that is a very, very rare case. So the third and final um, feature of a synthetic opal, which is probably the most important to be able to tell whether it is synthetic, is called lizard skin pattern. And what happens is those columns of opal that go across the stone, if you look at the end of those columns, so the side of this opal or the top of this opal, depending on which way it's cut, you will need a loop. And um, I've got two so I can see in 3D. No, I'm just kidding. You need a loop. So you can really look at the end of the columns and you can see that their dots have actual little dots inside the dots, which is called lizard skin pattern. It's very, very um, clear to see when you really look closely at the piece, you can see it. It's very...